Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Lost Babe UB Light Pod Kit. And this right here has a couple different features which we're going to be going over down below. And it's really, really simple to use. So before I say too much, we're going to go down. I'm going to show you everything that it comes with. Then we're going to put it all together. I'm going to come back up. We're going to vape on it. Pros and cons. So let's go ahead and go down and look at the Lost Vape UB Light Pod Kit. Okay, so here we are with the Lost Vape UB Light Pod Kit. This is the box that it comes in. On the side, you're going to see some information. On the other side, you're going to have Lost Vape lost vape quest the modern demarcation on the back you're going to get some kit contents and then inside the box you're going to get so inside the box you're going to be getting your warranty registration card you're also going to get a user manual it's got some information on this side and then you've got some information on this side on how to fill it and you're going to get two coils this one is actually the direct lung or the restrictive direct lung coil this one is the 0.4 ohm resistance coil. They are both made of canthal. This is the L1. It is good between 20 to 30 watts. And this is a mesh coil. It looks just like that. And then you've got your mouth to lung coil. And this one is the 1.4 ohm resistance coil. And this one is good between 8 to 10 watts. And that's what that one looks like. You're going to get a type C charging cord. It is a really, really small one, but it is type C. You're going to get a lanyard with the hook for you. So you can actually put this over the device and then strap on a lanyard, which I think is really cool. A lot of people like that. And then you're going to get your device. Now this device does have a 1000 milliamp hour internal battery and the pod holds two mils of e-liquid. It does have an on and off button, an LED light, and it does say UB light. And it's got the Lost Vape logo right there. Now this right here, it looks like it's got some grooves to it, but it really doesn't. It feels kind of smooth, very little grooves, but it is nice because it is easy to hold. The rest of it is very, very rounded as you can see, but this is definitely your flat part. On the back here, you're actually gonna get some adjustable airflow. You're gonna have RDL, which is restrictive direct lung. Then you're gonna have MTL, which is mouth to lung. So if you're a newer vapor, just coming off of cigarettes, you would definitely want the mouth to lung. And if you're somebody who likes a little bit more airflow, the restrictive direct lung will open it up. And you can also use anything in between. It doesn't have to be from one to the other. You can also use the middle. So this will work for both coils, no matter which setting that you have it on, which I think is great. On the bottom, you're gonna have your Type-C charging port. It does say designed by Lost Vape, and you've got some battery ventilation. On the top, this is where your pod is. And this right here does not come with any installed because they do give you the two in the packet. But this is what that looks like. Again, it does hold two mils of e-liquid and it's got a really nice mouth piece on it, which I think is really nice compared to a lot of others. I, it's got a very comfortable mouthpiece. And then right here, it's got the Lost Vape logo. And then on this side is your fill port. So all you need to do is just lift it up like this and you would fill it up. It's a really, really nice size hole. So you won't get any pullback because it's going to have enough space for you to get some air in there. Now on this side, it's got a flat part here and a flat part here, if you can see. Now with the flat parts, you definitely want to make sure that your coil is placed in there with the flat parts um, on either side. So on the coil right here, there's actually a flat part right here and a flat part right there. You can kind of see it when I hold it like this. So flat here, flat here, and that's where it's gonna set in. But the easiest way to know is the for the airflow hole wants to match this hole right there. And then all you have to do is just push it down like that and it's in. Now you can see that this one is the mouth to lung coil because the other one, the 0.4 ohm resistance has a lot bigger airflow. So you can actually see that. So this one would be your direct lung or restrictive direct lung. And then this one would definitely be your mouth to lung. Now I'm already using the restrictive direct lung coil, the 0.4 ohm in this one. So we're going to be putting in the um, mouth to lung coil in this one. So what you can do, and it is kind of helpful to help it prime up just a little bit quicker, is if you want, you can actually douse just a little bit of e-liquid wherever you see cotton, and that does help it prime up just a little bit faster. And you'll hear people say prime, and that's what it means. Just put it like a little dot right here, wherever you see some cotton. And I like to use like um, menthol-y, fruity um, flavors whenever I have mouth to lung. Um, or any type of pod system. I feel like the flavors really, really come through really good. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put it in here and you don't even have to, again, look for the little um, flat pieces. If you just line it up with the airflow, it goes right in just like that. 
on the top of here, that's where your magnetic piece is. And that's what's going to hold this in. When you put it in, it clips right in. It's It's got it in there. It's not like massive magnet where it's going to like pull on it, but it does clip in really, really nice. And it does have tension when you're pulling it out. Now let's go over the mod itself or the battery piece. Now to turn this on, it is five clicks. One, two, three, four, five, we'll turn it on. You'll see the lights flashing. Now when you're vaping it, you can either press to fire or you can actually auto draw on this. So you don't have to press the button if you don't want to. To turn the device off, it is five clicks. One, two, three, four, five, turns it off. And now it's off and you can't fire it. One, two, three, four, five, turns it back on. Now with these lights, while you're vaping it, as you notice, when I push to fire, it is showing green. That means that it's actually fully charged. If it turns blue, it's 3.9 volts. And if it turns red, it's 3.7 volts. So as a suggestion, as soon as it turns from blue to red, I would definitely charge it because it's gonna be around 20% charged. And you definitely wanna do that. Now again, it does have the charge port right on the bottom. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Again, 1000 milliamp hour internal battery. It does hold two mils of e-liquid. And as you can see, it's got a really nice type of mouthpiece to make it a little more comfortable in my opinion. But yeah, and then of course it does say UB light right there. I'm actually loving the different styles and the different colors. Again, this is the black one. If you like it black, they also have other colors as well, which I'll be showing you up above. So let's go ahead and take this on top. We're gonna to have a vape. We're gonna talk about it, pros and cons. So here we are back on top with the UB Light Pod Kit. Before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we're gonna talk more about it. Now I currently have the 0.4 ohm resistance coil in here and I do have the airflow wide open to the restrictive direct lung um, because that's the way that I've been using it. So let's go ahead and have a vape. That is with the auto draw, and now I'm going to do the push to fire. Now, honestly, this is the way that I've been vaping it. I really, really love it. I feel like it's got the perfect amount of restriction on a direct lung pull, so it is a restrictive direct lung. Now, you can tone down the 0.4 ohm resistance coil. You don't necessarily have to have the higher resistance, um, but you can tone it down. I'm going to go ahead and tone it down about halfway and we'll have another vape. That's restrictive direct lung still. And that's mouth to lung. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tone it down a little bit more for the mouth to lung, so it's almost all the way closed. And let's do it again. Even with the 0.4 ohm coil, I feel like you get that perfect mouth to lung if that's what you're looking for. Personally, my favorite way of doing this is all the way open. I feel like all the way open is definitely my style. I do like it as a restrictive direct lung vape, but it thrives. It's got tremendous flavor and it's so easy to use and it has a thousand milliamp hour internal battery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I've got the lanyard on this one so that you can see how it is with the lanyard, but you can actually put it any way that you want it. Um, it's for your use, but I did wanna show you the lanyard on it. I don't personally use the lanyard, to be totally honest with you, but this one does have the mouth to lung coil. I do have it about halfway open right there, and this is the 1.4 ohm resistance coil. Again, both of them are made of canthal. That's it with it about halfway. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to mouth to lung, and that's it, mouth to lung. Again, this is the higher resistance coil. And this coil, I definitely think thrives right between the mouth to lung and the halfway mark. That's where I really like the draw. I don't like it too restrictive and I don't like it too open. So like right about there is like my favorite spot. It gives me the perfect amount of restriction and I'm getting really, really good flavor. So um, depending on which one you like, that's great. They also have a 0.8 ohm resistance coil too um, that is available for this. So if you don't want it so restrictive where it's the 1.4 ohm resistance coil or the 0.4 and you want something in between, they do have a 0.8 ohm resistance coil as well. Now again, this one thrives as a restrictive direct lung. Like this has been my jam just thriving just like this. 
And my definite pro to this, other than the flavor, is going to be the fact that you can do auto draw or you can do press to fire and it doesn't matter which way you're doing it. You're getting a really, really good vape. Another pro to this is that it's easy to fill. You just take it off and you just fill it through the you just fill it through the backside real quick and you can go ahead and fill it and it pops right into place as soon as you just leave it down like that. And it's got its indication, like, you know, your flat part goes here and then the rounded part goes here. Really, really easy. The mouthpiece, I absolutely love this mouthpiece. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels so comfortable. Uh, it's just, it's one of those better mouthpieces for these pod systems. My lips just rest perfectly on it. Another pro is going to be the fact that they do give you two different types of coils. So you can figure out which one you like. You've got the 0.4 or you've got the 1.4. They're both indicated as canthal, which I do like the fact that they're putting the materials on the coils themselves. And this thing can be turned off. So you can do on, off, or you can do auto draw. So that to me is definitely a pro as well. The color and the, the feel and the design of it is just really, really nice. It is constructed of aluminum, but it's a really, really nice... Um, feel to it. A couple cons I do have to this, and these are subjective cons, just what I don't prefer. Um, first off is going to be the charging port on the bottom. I'm not a fan of charging ports on the bottom because you have to set it down and then you got to let it charge. And I don't like setting my devices down that can stand up. So I really wish that they would have put the charging port somewhere either on the front or the back. I feel like that would have been better. Another thing is, is that in the booklet for the battery indicators, it's giving it to you in voltage, but you can't see the voltage. So you really don't know what it is. So I would have preferred it to be listed in the manual that it's by percentage. Like um, if it turns red, it's like 20% um, or under. And if it's blue, it's like from 20 to 70, something like that. Rather than to give you the voltage, I really think that they should have put the percentages in the booklet in my personal opinion. And my final con, and this one is a kind of big con, is the fact that the charging cable is so small. For this, like if I were to charge it to my computer, I would I would have to put my the whole thing behind the computer and set it down to charge it. And I don't like that. Um, even if I put it where I charge my other devices, it's gonna be hanging off. So I really wish that we would have had a longer charging cord. I love the fact that it's type C charging, but I really would have liked a longer charging cord. Other than that though, I'm getting fantastic flavor. I love the feel of this. It's it's holds only two mils of e-liquid, but it's not a full direct lung device. So you're not gonna go through e-liquid as fast. But another cool part about it is that you can actually see your e-liquid level here. You don't necessarily have to pull out the pod. You can to see the rest of it, but you can see like if it starts getting like right about here, then you wanna pull it out and check it. But I haven't had any problems with this at all with filling it, leaking or anything like that. It's got a really, really nice feel to it and it's small, it's compact. And just remember to turn it off when you put it in your pocket or your purse, because if not, then it, it can fire if it touches anything else. The flavor, even the clouds on this are absolutely amazing. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the colors up here for you so that you can see them. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take another vape with the mouth to lung. I really like it where it is. That's where it thrives for me. Really, really good flavor. You're still getting good clouds, but that's my sweet spot right there. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this? I think that it's really, really nice. It has their awesome coils. It's just that they're smaller <laughs> because it's a UV light. But yeah, so let me know your thoughts down below. Would this be something that you would be interested in? I definitely think that this would be a great starter kit for those out there that are just switching over to vaping. I think that this is a great kit for that. And I also think that it's a great kit just to have, you know, when you're out and about, sort of like a secondary when you don't want to make a massive amount of clouds. I think that this is a good device to take with you as well. So that's it for my review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out as well as the thumbs up if you like the video and I will see you in my next one.